And that's pretty much the truth when it comes to investors. Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Tremaine, and today we're gonna to be talking about investors. Now, when it comes to an artist trying to blow up in the music industry, you're trying to grow their brand, there's always gonna be talk about record labels and investors. Now, when it comes to investors, there's many different investors out there, right? And in this video, we're gonna be talking about like your more traditional investors. Now, when it comes to traditional investors, what do they want, right? A traditional investor, he's gonna to wanna to invest his money into a, a brand, into a business, right? And he's gonna want, he or she is gonna want an ROI, right? And the ROI is a return on investment. Now, when it comes to musicians, right, and most artists, most artists aren't really savvy on the business side. Most artists don't even know what, what the ROI means, right, which is return on investment, right? Most artists aren't really thinking of other income streams they could tap into, right, which is one reason why most investors, most traditional investors don't like investing into artists, right, because they don't look at themselves as a business, right? Now, if you're an artist, if you're a musician, you need to look at yourself as a business, right? You need to look at yourself as a big brand. You don't just do music, right? Your brand can be used in movies, right? Your brand can be used to sell merch. Your brand can be affiliated with fashion um, fashion companies, right? Other companies that have um, um, digital products, right? Your brand can be like that, right? Just look at Snoop Dogg. Right, Snoop Dogg brand is is super big, right? So you want to look at yourself as a brand, right? Snoop Dogg doesn't just do music, right? He do a lot of things, right? 50 Cent, he doesn't just do music, he does a lot of things, right? So when you're trying to attract traditional investors, you want to look at yourself as a business because that's what you are, right? And most musicians don't, right? So let's just say you're an investor, right? And you have $100,000, right? You have $100,000 and you can either put it in real estate you can put it in stocks. You can put it in a company that's generating a lot of income already. Got data analytics, all that type of stuff, right? This is your last hundred thousand, right? You can't get any more after this, right? Once you lose it, it's gone, right? Then you have an up and coming artist, right? You're probably gonna put your money into something that has data analytics and everything that could back up why you're gonna get an ROI. Right, you're not really trying to put it into a musician that doesn't really look at themselves as a as a business. They don't really look at themselves as a big brand. Right, you're gonna put your money into that. Right, so that is the truth when it comes to investors. Right, so if you're an artist and you're trying to attract investors and things like that, don't look at yourself as just an artist. Right, look at yourself as a brand. So if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want more content when it comes to funding your music career. Thank you.